All right, so we've already collected from the dog. We showed you the cath that we're gonna use. I've collected the semen. I've had it warmed up in my hand. I don't want it getting cold. It's, you know, if it's really cold outside, this absolutely has to be done inside. We would do this inside, but we got a better light out here, and I think it'll be a better opportunity to see what we're doing. All right, so um, I'm going to take her from you. I'm gonna have you hold onto that so you can just put it down the ground there. So here's our patient. Okay, she's been allowed to pee and poop. So here's what we're gonna do. This is the position we want her in. We want her back end up, rump up in the air. Generally, any kind of an AI it gives you a better opportunity to get gravity to get the semen to go. Right, so we're cleaning her off. So we wanna make sure that there's no muck and dirt in here. Got a glove on. You can see her blood color, by the way. It looks pretty sensible. See, it's pretty, pretty pinky. She's probably half a day early. We're gonna breed her again. So today is in the morning. We'll breed her again, not tomorrow, but the day after in the morning. Okay, so now what do we do? We're gonna put this whole assembly. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna got some nice clean Vaseline here. We're Vaseline this up, we're gonna Vaseline her up because we've got to get this inside her. So we're gonna use my little pinky finger. I'm gonna just generally get that in there and just kind of see where the, so the direction is, the bladder's down here. I have never, ever, ever got an AI rod, small or big, into a bladder. I just don't think you can get it done, but people talk about it. So it's, it's more of a, it's more of a, like this motion. But you know, that whole canal, you'll feel the canal. So here we go. We'll see how she likes this. Okay, you're okay. Okay, all right. She's not. So when you get that kind of reaction, just take your time. Just take your time. Just take your time. She's pretty small. It's maybe too big a catheter for this dog. Yep, I think it's too big. I'm not gonna use this catheter. We're gonna do it the old fashioned way. This is just too big for this dog. He's a small dog. All right, old fashioned way. Nothing wrong with that. Old fashioned way is I take the semen, I put some air in it ahead of time, I stick it on the end of this, I lube it up. Put a finger in. Goes over the top of my finger. Direction is, by the way, you see that, that's a lot more rod than I'm ever gonna get in there. I'm gonna get this thing something up around my fingers. I'm gonna get about six inches of rod in. We'll see how open she is. Here we go. So what I'm gonna do is, there it goes. Look at that, beautiful. Look at that, that's all the way in. Beautiful, beautiful, bit, bit more of it, bit more of it. There, that is, that's a lot. That's all the way in this dog. So keep my finger in there. Tell me if you wanna stop that, please. We're just slowly gonna squeeze this down. Followed up by the air. It's gonna shake because I don't want any semen in there to fall down into, into the, there it is. Down, slowly retract it. And now we just keep our finger in there with the dog elevated now for how long, folks? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Don't be shy on this one here. So it's really good to have somebody with you, just like Walt is doing, to just kind of calm her down and stroke. You see, she's been very, very tolerant to this. Some dogs less tolerant. If they want to get away from you, just take your time. You know, you don't have to, you can pull it out and start again. You don't have to do this all in two minutes. But the important thing is to get this dog in this position for a solid 30 minutes with its hind end up in the air. After 15 minutes, you can take your finger out. You just got to keep this dog elevated. And we're not going to make you sit through this whole thing. We may just take a video at the back end when we're finished. But basically at this point, it's 30 minutes and uh, just keep the dog calm and happy and uh, you'll get good results. When are we gonna have puppies? The answer is 61 days from the first AI is the first window of opportunity for a C-section. Doesn't mean that's a, that's a definite C-section date. It means the day that we expect to have a C-section. And we've got videos on how you uh, track that whole process so you get your C-section timing right. But basically, what's the date today, guys? The 9th? The 10th. So today is the 10th of December. We'd expect this dog to be ready on the 10th of February. That would be our due date. That's 61 days forward, the 10th of February. So if you just take today's date and move it two months, two months forward to that same date, you're gonna be in the window. Um, is there any magic to any of this? Not really. It's just calm, slow, take your time. Uh, when you, by the way, just I didn't mention this, when you 
have got this and you're putting this in, make sure there's nothing else around you because if you're not careful, she might move and hit the plunger before you've got this in. That wouldn't be good, right? So just give yourself a clear area. Watch out for the armrests on, on arms that they could hit something as she moves. Make sure you've got a clear area. This is a one-time use device. We're gonna throw this away. Our whole assembly is gonna get chunked in the bin. We're not ever gonna reuse that stuff. If you do, you're asking for having a pyometria or a, uh, and a uterine infection or a, or a, um, a uterus infection or a bladder infection. Um, okay, so uh, guys, have I missed anything that you can think of? Yeah. Okay, these guys do this on a regular basis. They probably do more of this than I do. Um, well, here's something else. There's a cat around here. So that's something you gotta watch for. I don't know how this dog reacts to cats. So that's something else. When you're outside doing this, if you've got other animals around, you don't want a cat all of a sudden coming along and the dog just going freaking nuts, right? So, you know, a safe, calm environment where he, she feels safe is absolutely the place to be on this. All right. So the last video, the last part of this video is gonna be me disconnecting from her. All right.